Hi, this is Christophe Impicciati for Bistec and uh, we're going to talk about dynamic rows based on context. So first, let's define what it is. It's the capability of dynamically changing a cube, the content of a dimension displayed on rows based on another cube dimension. For example, you could display the relevant countries on rows based on a region selection made on pages. This process is very useful when deploying applications in Contributor. To create dynamic rows, we're going to need two things, attributes and dynamic subsets. To illustrate the topic, I have created a cube called Din Rows, and it has four dimensions, countries, regions, the months, and one measure, revenue. The cube looks like this. The first thing we need to do is to create the relationship between the two dimensions, countries and regions, and this is done using attributes. On the country's dimension, I have created an attribute, a text attribute called region, matching the country to the region. I have done the same against regions. I have created an attribute, a text attribute called region name, which is basically the same information. The last thing I need to do is to create a dynamic subset on the country's dimension. To do that, I just double click the dimension and go into view expression window to keep an eye on the MDX I'm going to generate. After that, I start my recording by doing Tools, Record Expression. Select all the elements, go in the filter, and filter by region, and I just pick a region. I click OK, and my recording is done, so I go Tools, Stop Recording, and I say Yes. Now, and to make the two attributes match, I just need to modify the expression. And instead of Asia, I am going to modify by placing the name of the other dimension, regions, and the name of the other attribute, which is region name, and close the bracket. I'm just going to click update, and I'm going to say save. Give it a smart name, such as dynamic countries and click OK. To see all this in action now, I just need to open the cube, select the country's dimension, and pick the dynamic subset I just created. Click OK. And now you can see that by selecting the region, the product displays the relevant countries automatically. Thank you for your attention. This was Christophe Impicciati for Bistec, and please contact us if you have any questions.